What's up everybody? Ooh, whew, it's cold. What is up? Welcome back to the channel. Today is gonna be a quick video, just a quick video comparison of the Mopar mats compared to WeatherTech floor mats. Now I'll leave a link uh, to both of the floor mats below if you guys are interested in these. They make great Christmas gifts, especially uh, in the winter when it's all you know slushy and disgusting outside. Um, for your favorite Jeeper or for yourself, you don't wanna track that stuff inside your new uh, JL uh, and ruin the interior the first winter that you have it. So again, those links will be in the description below if you want to check them out. And uh, yeah, let's get to it so I can get back inside because it is freezing. So last week I ordered some WeatherTech mats for the Jeep. Uh, I knew getting into winter here it was going to get really muddy and slushy and I don't want to track all of that stuff into my Jeep on the carpet. So I uh, went ahead and ordered some WeatherTechs. The day that I got my WeatherTechs in and installed, we actually had a Jeep come into the shop that had the Mopar factory slush mats inside of it. So I just wanted to make a quick comparison video. I know a lot of people spring for the Mopar mats, which um, are really nice and made by Jeep and they have all the logos and stuff on them. But I've always been a big fan of the WeatherTech, so I'm gonna show you guys the difference in the factory Mopar mats compared to the WeatherTechs and uh, let you guys decide which one's better for you. So we're gonna start off here in the driver's side and uh, you can already see just from a week's worth of you know, getting in and out of the car. So obviously WeatherTech is a big company. Uh, you can get more than just Jeep mats. Um, I'm obviously just comparing the Mopar Jeep mats to the Jeep mats for WeatherTech. Um, the thing I like about WeatherTechs is they're laser measured. They're gonna fit exactly right in whatever vehicle that you want. And you're gonna have a few more color options. So the install is super easy, just like the Mopar mats. Uh, it has these clips that clip onto the factory mounts there. And you just kind of line it up and push down. And uh, it's, it's not coming up unless, you know, you really, really want that to come up. Now this is the main reason that I prefer the WeatherTechs over the Mopar mats, um, is because of how far up uh, this kick plate comes. I mean, it comes up maybe five inches or so. And you're resting your foot up against there, you can already see, you know, my boots already kicked it a couple of times. Uh, so you're gonna protect the side as well. And it also goes all the way back up behind the pedal and the Mopar mats, um, they usually only come up to like right where this curve is right here. Now on the other kick panel, uh, right underneath my clutch, you can see how far up this WeatherTech goes. You can't even see the end of it up there. Um, and then it's just a little bit higher than the Mopar mat. We come over on the passenger side. Same setup with the two plugs and uh, laser fit to the footwell here. You can see um, on the Mopar mat again, this comes up way higher than what the Mopar mat is. I think the Mopar mat comes up maybe an inch, maybe two inches uh, up on the side. Either side of the WeatherTech is a little bit deeper than the Mopar mat. However, The Mopar mat does have an advantage. Um, you can see this little cutout down here. Uh, if you were to cut this out with a razor blade, that right there is your drain plug. So the one major advantage, there is an actual cutout here um, in the Mopar mat that allows water to drain down through your drain plug, which is pretty neat. So um, I would give the advantage of that to the Mopar mat, but um, personally, I just like how high that these sides are. Everything stays pretty much uh, you know, in the tub here. Moving on to the rear. WeatherTech setup is a little bit different. Uh, it's a solid piece all the way across. So uh, the Jeep, the Mopar mat here in the center uh, actually has some connection points. So you can take the Mopar mats out in the rear separately, uh, passenger and driver, uh, depending on, you know, which one's dirty, if you want to clean it or anything. Uh, this one, you have to take the entire thing out. So it's one piece all the way across there, which is kind of an inconvenience. But um, again, uh, all factory mounting points, laser measured. In the rear here, I don't think there's an advantage advantage in height uh, either in the front or on the side. I'm pretty sure they're the exact same height where the advantage is is right here. You can see just how much of uh, this cup holder section is covered. Um, it's a good five inches. You'll see in the rear seats of the Mopar mat uh, they are definitely definitely a little bit shorter there but all around in the rear pretty similar in height for the front uh, and then by the kick as well as extending a little bit past where the mounting points for the seat are so all in all you can't go wrong with either one of them the advantage of the Mopar mats is that the Mopar mats have the drain plug in the front the advantage of the WeatherTechs is that they have such high sidewalls it keeps everything pretty much contained um, and then the Mopar mat in the rear comes out in two pieces 
Um, again, that's going to be all preference, whether it's something that you care, whether you're going to take it out um, and wash it if you want to take them out one by one, or if you're just going to leave them in there all season and then wash them at the end of the season. But the fronts are where the major differences are going to be with the drain plug and the higher side walls. <laughs> this is a short video, just a little comparison that I saw when uh, I had the opportunity at work to see the Mopar mats. Also, it's freezing cold outside, so I don't want to be out here any longer than I have to. So thank you guys again for watching. If you haven't already, get down there, hit that subscribe button, give away at 5,000 subscribers for the Blackout JK Grill, and we'll catch you in the next one. Ooh. Ooh, it's cold.